What's up guys, this is Steve for Android at Night, and today what I've got for you is my top favourite launchers for Android 2015. So first up on this list is Nova Launcher, this is the one I use um, the most, both on my G4 and on my Nexus 5. As you can see, it looks pretty similar to a stock kind of launcher, you don't have the scroll left for Google Now, which you obviously get um, with the Google Now launcher, but we'll get to that later on in the video. One of the new features I really like in Nova Launcher, which they actually took from Action Launcher, is the ability to have a folder which is a cover. So you can see this here is a social folder, but if I tap it, it goes directly into Fenix, which is my favorite Twitter app. But if I swipe up, it opens up as a folder and it has all of my social apps. Another thing I really like about Nova Launcher is the fact that you can put folders in your application drawer. For example, I have a games folder here, or a health folder. These are also super easy to edit. You can select apps and literally just scroll through and decide what you want in each different folder. And adding a folder is as easy as grabbing an application, dragging it to the edit option at the top. You can then choose to add it to an existing folder or you can scroll all the way down and you can make a new group which will put a new folder in your app drawer. One of the best things about Nova Launcher is just how customizable it is. So you can go here, you can decide exactly how big your desktop grid is. You can tweak the icon sizes, you can tweak the labels, you can tweak the color of the text. Pretty much anything you want to change, you will be able to change with Nova Launcher. And if you download Tesla Unlocked, you can make it so you can have unread uh, notification badges on your icons. The next launcher on this list is Action Launcher 3. And there's a couple of cool things that really differentiate this uh, from some of the other offerings on the Play Store. One of them is if you scroll across here, you can get to all of your applications in an alphabetized list and you can really easily scroll with one finger and get stuff very quickly. You do also have a sort of slightly more standard application uh, app drawer as well, and at the top, you can go ahead to type to find any app that you want. And on the top of your screen here, you get something called a quick bar. This is like a sort of super powered Google search bar. There are a couple of different presets you can choose, so you can go ahead and have none if you want a much more minimal setup, or you can go for sort of a slightly more standard search box, and this gives you an option to go into the action launcher menu, you've got your uh, voice search there and the overflow as well. You can go for a slightly more colourful one, there is an action bar one which gives you links to the Play Store, or there's like social, productivity and audio. And if you want, you can also customise this um, to your heart's content. If you hit down here, you can choose whatever you want and you can add that to your quick bar. Much like Nova Launcher, it's got a nice setting here which will normalise the size of all of your icons. This is really nice if you use custom icon packs and makes everything look a little bit more unified and a little bit smarter. And this is where that option to be able to swipe to launch a folder and tap to launch an app really started. It also has a cool thing which allows you to swipe to launch a widget as well, which is um, pretty powerful if you use a minimal setup like I do and you don't want widgets sort of cluttering everything up. And the final launcher on this list is just the Google Now launcher. I love the fact that this is now actually an app in the Play Store you can download. So if you're running a phone which isn't stock, you can go ahead and download it and get a much much closer to sort of stock Nexus feel on for example this is a G4 it means I don't have to use LG's skin or another custom launcher if I don't want to I love the fact you can swipe across to go to Google now this is especially useful in um, Android 6.0 Marshmallow where you can no longer do the swipe up to launch Google now um, you do the long press and it does the, uh, the sort of Google now contextual search and it's a really nice quick way to get all the information you want sort of at a glance. Apart from that, it's a pretty simple launcher. You've obviously got folder support and everything you'd expect, but it's very light, it's very fast. I actually quite like the new vertical scrolling um, app drawer, and I've started using the search apps at the top uh, a lot more as well. I also love the option they've given in the settings, which will allow you to turn the app suggestions on and off. So if you want to have these suggested apps at the top of your uh, app drawer, you can as well. The only real downside to the Google Now launcher, um, at least for me, is the fact that you can't reset icon packs in the same way you can in something like Nova Launcher or Action Launcher. But if you're looking for a light launcher, I find the Google Now one is pretty decent. So there you are guys, those are my top launchers of 2015. Let me know in the comments below which launchers you have been using and also on which phone. I find it quite interesting to see which setups people rock um, on different devices, but also comment below if there's anything else you would like to see. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't seen me before. You can follow me on all my social media things for links in the description. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.